What's up, it's Sean Mendez, and this is my variety cover shoot. I used to watch a lot of Netflix and stuff. I watched like all 13 seasons of Grey's Anatomy in a really <laughs> short amount of time. Um, but since then, I've kind of stayed away. This album, I got to work with Ryan Tedder and John Mayer, and those are two main influences that I've had growing up in music. Both of them being two of the most incredible songwriters to ever live, in my opinion. Finally getting the chance to work with them was just insane. When you're a creative person and, and you, you meet creative people, you realize very quickly that all you both want is to create an incredible song and something that touches people. So a lot of the time when songwriters get together, immediately the most important thing is the song. We're trying to do something really, really never done before with the production, so hopefully it's really stunning and it should be all cohesive with the artwork of the album, so I think it'll be beautiful. The energy worldwide is here, but in Canada, the energy is just sitting right here because it's home and there's just that extra energy of family and people and friends and people who knew about you before it went worldwide, and which is a really cool feeling. Sometimes I feel like giving up, but I just can't. It isn't in my blood. To be honest with you, it's, it's scary to voice your opinion nowadays, and I guess I want to just use my voice to talk about things that I truly do believe in and stand behind. For me, writing a song about, you know, experiencing anxiety and going through that was really important for me to release because I think 14-year-old me would have really appreciated that. It was the first song I wrote for the album, and when I came into the studio, I just wanted to make a jump by being genuinely honest and truthful and talking about things that are hard to talk about because I think that's what creates good music and that's kind of what breaks that barrier from artists to people. You can take my youth away, so the mind will never break. When you're standing on stage and you're performing and you're singing about something that's much more than you, it's a bigger thing. And I remember we were all on stage and I was just completely covered in goosebumps. I looked over at Khalid and it was this really kind of out of body experience in, in the most incredible way. Khalid and I wanted to write about something that was not just a simple concept of, of one event, but a, a bigger meaning. And when we talk about the word youth, you know, we're not describing age, but the feeling of happiness and freedom. Any generation nowadays have the ability to change the world for the better. And it's like every single time one of these massive things happens, it's, it's up to us to really kind of stay strong and say that our youth won't be taken away from us. Every time we get on stage and perform it now, it's the same feeling. It's amazing because I've never experienced a song that no matter where you play it in the world and no matter how big the crowd or how small the crowd, the feeling you get from the audience to you is the exact same. I hope it's an anthem for people to be strong in times when it feels really hard to be. As long as I wake up today, you can't take my youth away. You can't take my youth away. For me, I think life is a lot about listening to where it wants to take you and, and I feel like I'm really in a great place of writing music and I'm, I feel like I want to be touring and I want to be singing and I want to be making more albums and the second that maybe that starts to slow down, I'd love to do some acting, but for the meantime, I'm, I'm kind of all focused on music. Mm -hmm.